All right. Premarital sex, teenage pregnancy. That's our topic, teenage pregnancy. A teenager becomes pregnant because of premarital sex. And what's the reason why teenagers get pregnant? What are the reasons? Somebody told me um, parents did not guide them. Somebody texted me, uh, the child itself has a, a personal problem. Okay. What else? Ano pa? Uh, Andrea Sevilla Olivares, hindi na-educate about sex education ng mother or grandmother. Walang alam ang mga bata. Correct. They were not educated. Very good, Andrea Olivares. Hindi naturuan ng tamang pag-iingat sa katawan ang mga bata. Correct ulit. See, everybody knows about this problem. So I want to know. Okay, you gotta text me. Kasi lahat po kayo, alam niyo po itong problema na to. Nasabi ko kanina, meron pong dyaryo, September 18. Ito po siya. Hindi na kita sa, sa, ito. Ito binabasa ko siya. Sige lang. September 18, sa Inquirer, uh, pregnancy among girls below a 15 rising according to the Population Commission. At uh, si Senator Zubiri po, kinatch niya po yung atensyon na yan na yun pong teenage pregnancy ay hindi, bu hindi bumababa ang graph. Pataas pa rin ng pataas. It's still rising. The statistics are still rising that teenage pregnancy is going up, 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 up. Hindi lang ngayon, 2020. Even 10 years ago, mataas na po yan. Even 15 years ago, mataas na yan. Even 20 years ago, mataas na po yan eh. And then you tell me, nasa pandemic panic tayo ngayon. Hello? Meron ba ang teenager na napapregnant kayong pandemic panic? Opo. Meron pa rin at naabuso pa. Yes. Pagsama-sama na natin ang premarital sex, child sexual abuse can lead to teen age pregnancy. Totoo po yan. Maniwala kayo, hindi. Kahit nasabihin nyo sa akin, no, it's not happening in my family. Sa iyo. Pero, come, come on. It's statistics have shown. Ito pa, sa inquirer nga, sa September 18, according to the Population Commission, pregnancy among girls below 15 are rising according to the Population Commission. Ano yun? Ano yun? My God. Arya Lim, yes, thank you for watching. I'm sure uh, everybody here, parang wala lang, dead ma lang kayo, di ba? Dead ma lang kayo. Pakialam ko dyan, tita Dok, masarap naman ang sex. Huwag kayong ganun. Even though you are not affected, pero hello, sa Pilipinas, mataas po ang statistics ng teenage pregnancy. Child sexual abuse, mataas. Premarital sex, of course. Hindi naman mabubuntis yung batang yan kung walang sex. Hello. No guidance from parents. Then what will you do now? Kung meron kayong apo, even at the age of five or six years old, pwede mo educate yan. Not about sexual intercourse. No, 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 no. Hayaan nyo po. Aayusin ko yung napakaganda kong PowerPoint. Meron pong age bracket ang pagtuturo ng sex education. Even at the age of five, you teach them not of sexual intercourse. Of course not. Ano ka? You talk about parts of the body na kailangan i-take care ng anak mo or ng apo mo. And you should not use words like the vagina, your pachay chay, the penis, say pachoy choy. No. Say penis, say vagina. Yes. Tawa-tawa kayo, no? 
Inaral po yan, hindi lang po ako nag-isip niyan. Matagal na po naaral yan ng mga psychiatrists and psychologists that when you educate your child or your grandchild, you use the right terminology. Don't say, pachay-chay, pakay-kay, pakay-kay. No, say vagina. Penis, pachoy-choy, patoy-toy. No, say penis. Nakakatawa. I'm sure may tumatawa sa inyo. Don't laugh. Seryoso po ako. Ako po yung mapagbiro. Alam niyo naman, pag nagle-lecture ang lola niyo. <laughs> right? But if I'm... Topic, if my topic is this serious, serious po, Lola. Ako, may apo ba ako? Yes. Yes. I am telling my, my, my son and my daughter-in-law to educate them well. I am not with them, eh. Siyempre, iba yung bahay nila, iba yung bahay ko. Hindi ko nga mabisita. Nasa condominium sila, I cannot. Yes. Got that? Isip-isip lang po. Malaki pa yung utak natin. Ang laki na skull natin. Ito yung brain natin, di ba? So I have very nice topics in the future. Let's talk about educating our children, our grandchildren, age bracket-wise. Yes? And we will even talk about our brain. Kasi pag sinabi natin brain, it's just a brain, you know, utak. Uh, come on. Alam niyo po, every time I talk about anything, mag-anatomy muna tayo. Yes. Anatomy po importante. I even had a topic about mental health during pandemia. I even had a topic about stress which affects our brain. So what did I do? I have to talk first about the anatomy of the brain. Kasi alam nyo po dapat, yung brain po natin, hindi lang naman brain yan. May iba-ibang lobes po yan. Lobes. Upo. At iba-iba ang function ng bawat lobes. Lobes po, lobes. L-O-B-E-S. Parang yung lungs natin, may iba-iba ding lobes po yan. May iba-ibang parte. Ang alam nyo lang, reproductive system. If you talk about reproductive system, syempre alam nyo yung reproductive system. Ay, alam ko yan, Tita Dok. Yan yung matres. Yan yung kwelyo ng matres. Cervix. Yan yung vagina. Yan yung clitoris. Katabi ng clitoris, yung labia mahora. Ma-memorize pa. Labia minora. Nyeo, nyeo, nyeo. Hmm. Alam ko din, Tita Dok, ang respiratory system. Hmm. Ano? Yan po yung paghinga, hinga. Okay. Right. What? Respiratory system, yan po yung lungs. Ano pa? Lungs lang. Kasi, Alam niyo, enjoy po. Uy, pag nag-anatomy ako sa inyo eh, I'm sure marami tayo natututunan, di ba? We learn together, right? Yes? So if I talk about the brain, may iba-ibang lobes po yan. Lobes. Okay. So kailangan po yung utak natin mag-function ng dapat, ng tama, para makaiwas po tayo sa pagiging parang ordinary Mammal lang. Remember, we are all mammals. Like dogs, mammal din yan. Like cats, they are also mammal. May dede din yung mga yan. Nagpaproduce ng gatas. See? Ang pinagkaiba natin, utak. The brain and the seat of emotion, the core of our brain, meron po importanteng seat of emotion. Pati yung sex na yan. Sex, my God, ang sarap kaya niyan. Hindi ba, Maria Rosario sa Cluti? Sino may sabi hindi masarap ang sex? Sige nga, Dok, hindi masarap yan. Talaga, 
Pablo Galicia Mendez, Lynn Norris Figueroa. Sino nagsabi hindi masarap ang sex? Ikaw, Lynn, ikaw nagsabi hindi masarap? Sarap kaya niyan? Kaya lang. Pag hindi naman nagamit ng maayos yung utak mo, may pwedeng mangyari hindi maganda. Dahil sex po ay masarap, pero ang sex po ay dangerous. Sex is complicated. Bakit dangerous yan, Tita Dok? Ang sarap charap chalap chalap niya ni... Skirt! Chalap chalap yan sex? Eh! Sige! Come on. Masarap talaga. <laughs> Hindi ba, Chato? Charap, charap yan eh. Kaso, it's dangerous. Kaso, it's complicated. Why? It's dangerous because kung bata ka pa, teenager ka pa, pwede ka magkaroon ng STD, tulo, kuto, kulugo, Ano pa? Marami. Babaho ang iyong vagina. Meron kang chlamydia. <laughs> Maraming reasons yan. Remember, when you just do sex, it's good, but there's a lot of problem. Yung iba na nakikipag-sex, hindi naman nabuntis. Pero sinasabi sa akin, Tito Dok, bumaho ang aking vagina. Ayan. Nakipagtali ka? Opo. Mm. Napansin niyo yun? Hello? Napansin niyo? Minsan nangikipagtali ka lang after two days, mabaho po ang iyong vagina. Yes. You know the reason why? Or you don't know? That's my point. That's my point. That's what I'm trying to tell you that this is your anatomy. Ito yung physiology. At meron po nangyayari dyan pag hindi tama ang paggamit. Hello? Got that? So I'm not just here talking about sex. Sex is also dangerous because you might get pregnant or baka makabuntis ka or baka magkaroon ka ng STD. But sex is good. Of course it's good. Kaya lang, hindi mo ginamit yung utak mo. Magkakaproblema ka. Bata ka pa. Hindi ka nag-guide ng magulang mo. Mami, mami. Mm, ano anak? Wala akong mens mama. Dapat may mens na ako. Ngayon date na to. Wala pa man. And you as a mom? What's your reaction? Pwedeng magalit ka? Pwedeng wala ka lang magawa. Right? Hindi ko sinasabing lahat kayo guilty. Sinasabi ko lang na nangyayari po yan. Hindi po tataas ang statistics kung hindi po nangyayari. And nasa inquire nga eh. Nasa inquire na sa... Inquire, hello, Tita Dok. Kailan ba yan? Baka luma na yan, Tita Dok. Hoy! September 18, 2020. Pregnancy among girls below 15 rising according to the Population Commission. Ang tawag mo doon? See? Aida Bernardo, hello. Girly Kim Chu Kim Chu. Oo nga. Benji Lim, hello. Yes. One reason maybe my kumare told me that their mom also got pregnant at an early age too. At 15 years old. See? So, sabi mo, Chato, yung anak Nabuntis ng 12 kasi yung nanay nabuntis ng 15. Correct. In other words, yung nanay hindi na-educate yung anak na 12 years old. Simple explanation, Chato. Yun na ang reason, Chato. So for those who are listening now, watching, ewan ko, Kung in-educate nyo yung inyong anak o iyong apo, even at an early age. Alam ko inaabangan ninyo yung PowerPoint ko, how to educate. 
iba-ibang bracket. Excited po ako i-explain yan. Did you know that's even the favorite topic of my mom? Alam niyo ba, bagitin ko lang, chato, bagitin ko lang, itong topic na to, naging topic na to ilang beses na eh. Itong teenage pregnancy, premarital sex, madami na to eh. And then my mom, kasi mami ko muna una nagbabasa na newspaper sa umaga, kasi siya yung unang nagigising, right? Gising na yan ang mga 5 o'clock, gising na yan eh, even 4, gising na yan eh. Tapos dumalating yung newspaper namin na mga 6 o'clock, so siya una nakakapagbasa ng newspaper. Kasi meron kami subscription na inquirer. Tapos noong noon time, noong nagising na ako, sabi niya, Lulu, yes ma, maganda ang topic ngayong araw na to. Saan? Sa inquirer. Tapos initsya niya sa akin itong newspaper. Nagulat ako eh. Gusto ko gawing topic mo ulit yan. See, my mommy is even suggesting me ano ang topic ko ngayon. Ayoko na sana kasi ilang beses ko na ito naging topic. Ay nako, gawin mong topic yan. Napakaganda yan. Even my mom, 91 years old, magsasuggest pa ng topic ko. That's my mom. Ah, pati siya, kahit 91 na, hindi pa rin niya maintindihan kung bakit hanggang ngayon umabit na siya sa 91 years old. Yun pa rin yung problema ng Pilipinas. Yun pa rin. Eh, matagal na pong problema yan eh. 91 na si mami. Ano ba yan? Oh my God. Ka Yute, hello. Aida Bernar Bernardos. Yeah, okay. Okay. So anyway, I have a PowerPoint I'm going to show you. Short lang naman. And uh, more of pictures. So I'm going to show it to you, ha? Just a minute. Let's check on our Doc Lulu Talks. Okay, may mga comments. Basahin lang natin yung mga comments sila. Okay, now. Um, John Joven. Uy, hello. John Joven. Hi. September 27, my friend John Joven Uy is a uh, professional entertainer. Magitin ko lang, sandali lang po, kasi this is my very napakagandang, uh, uh, napakagwapo na guest ko ngayon. Mm. John Joven Uy is a uh, professional singer. Yes, sa resorts world po. And remember po sa mga hotel, I, uh, we cannot go to the hotel and watch uh, singers or band have a dream, eat to be entertained. We don't have that. I can't do that also. Maybe now meron, but I cannot. Senior na po ako. Okay. But ang ginawa nila, John Joven, uy, meron silang love project. Love project means they can entertain you via a platform like a Zoom. For example, meron kayong birthday party or whatever, whatever purpose. Kung gusto ninyo may mag-entertain, pwede po via Zoom. And John Joven Uy, through his love project, pwede pong gawin yun. How do, how do we go about it? Okay, sila po ay uh, hindi naman, hindi po libre. Siyempre, entertainer sila, professional pa. So they are paid every 15 minutes. Kunyari, kunyari ako, meron akong Zoom, tapos meron birthday. And the example na lang sister ko, uh, birthday niya sa September 27, together with my brother and my pamangkin, ang kinuha namin entertainer sa aming Zoom birthday celebration via Zoom ay si John Joven Uy. Yes! So for 30 minutes, siya yung entertainer namin. And we can suggest what we like na music na kakantahin niya. Songs na kakantahin ni John. Yes! Ay, nako, grabe po. Kasi minsan pa nag-zoom celebration tayo, parang wala ng topic, tapos boring kaya. Happy birthday! Tapos nakanta kayo ng happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, tapos wala na. Tapos ang topic nyo, yung namatay si ganun, namatay si ganun. Sus, ginoo. Okay, so don't talk about death. Wala namang bago ngayon yung pandemya eh. 
araw-araw naman may namamatay nga eh. Ayoko naman malaman eh. Kasi I'm sure may mga kakilala ko namamatay eh. So, in other words, we have to manage our stress. Kung meron kayong anak na nabuntis, meron kayong anak na karoon ng tulo, teenager pa, so what can you do about it? You have to manage that. Hindi yan inaaway, hindi pinapagalitan. Okay? Alright? Kung may celebration kayo, like birthday, ayan, tawagan si John Joven Uy. If you want to uh, contact him, uh, bibigay ko po sa inyo yung contact niya, contact number niya. Hindi po ako ang manager ni John Joven Uy, ah. Wala po. Hindi ko po negosyo si John Joven Uy. <laughs> Baka akala ninyo, manager ka, Tita Doc. No, 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 no. No. We are all independent here. If you have a business, independent business po. Okay? Got that? Thank you, John Joven. Yes. All right. Now, Gary Kimchu Kimchu from Cotabato City. Yes. Cotabato City. Mm -mm. Okay. All right. So, I'm going to share to you our PowerPoint. All right. Ina muna tayo na ating tea. Lumamig na yung tea ko. <laughs> Lumamig na. Okay lang. Okay. I'm going to share to you our PowerPoint. Very important. Here it is. Okay. Now. Ayan po. Ang teenager na lalaki at babae nasa dilim pa sila at Kiss, kiss. Okay. So, wala naman problema dyan. It's so sweet. Pero, pag yan po ay uh, may iba nang gagawin, it can actually lead to sex. Pre-marital sex. But is it worth it? Is it really worth it? Alam niyo po, one in three Filipino youth age 15 to 24 Engage already in pre-marital sex. Okay? Yes, totoo po yan. Kaya po ang statistics of teenage pregnancy in the Philippines is still going high. Alright? It goes high and high and high. Eto ka na, bata. Hindi ba? High school student ka pa lang. Sa iyo mga classmate mo, masaya sila. Pero ikaw, paano mo pa ipagpapatuloy ang iyong pag-aaral kung ikaw ay buntis na? Ayan ka na. Nalungkot ka na lang. Uwi ka na lang sa probinsya. O kung nasa probinsya ka, mapapatigil ang iyong pag-aaral. Ayan. Nagpa-prenatal check-up ka. Ang dami mong katabi, mga teenagers din. May kwento ko lang po. Ako po minsan ay uh, niyaya ng isang rotary group. Okay? At pumunta kami sa Leyte. At magle-lecture daw ako sa isang eskwela, high school students, at mag-educate. -e so, lumipad po kami sa Leyte, particularly po sa Hindang Leyte. Never been there, pero ito po isang probinsya. Okay? At yung Rotarian, classmate niya yung principal. At yung principal na yun, tinanong ko, anong problema niyo dito? Ay, nako, tita dok, ang mga estudyante namin dito ay Maya-maya, may buntis. Wow. Hindi ba kayo nagtuturo ng sex education? Nagtuturo po. Eh, ba't ganyan? Hindi nga po namin alam kung bakit. So, they all become teen mom. Yung po ang tawag sa mga teenager na nabubuntis. Teen mommy. Or... Teenager na buntis. 
So let's face the reality. We have to face the reality talaga. Nag-sex nga eh. Nag-premarital sex. Ilang beses na sinasabi sa inyo, hindi mabubuntis yan kung walang premarital sex. Pag nag-premarital sex, pwede ikaw ay magkatulo or pwede kang magkaroon ng hepatitis, pwede kang magkaroon ng gonorrhea, syphilis, kuto, kulugo, HIV, etc., etc. Or pwede kang mabuntis or pwede kang magkaroon ng unintended bunt kabuntisan pa rin. Or again, magkakaroon ka ng baby kasi nga ikaw ay nabuntis. Ano ba bang tawag dun? Okay? Or, later on, magkaroon ka ng infertility. The reason why, if you have pre-marital sex, ang iba po ay nagpapa-abort. Opo, kita doak, bawal ang abortion sa Philippines. Bawal talaga. Pero meron pa rin para-paraan ng iba, sila pa rin ay nagpapa-abort. Meron po. Di ba nababasa niyo sa mga news, merong abortionista, Right? Yes. Yung iba, kung ano iniinom. Yung iba, kung ano nilalagay sa loob ng kanilang vagina. Right? At lagi nilang ginagawa yun. Nalalaglag, gagawin ulit, paulit-ulit. It can actually lead to infertility. Okay? Pre-marital sex can lead to abductions and rituals. Parang habit na laging ginagawa yung pre-marital sex. Wala lang. Nasanay na eh. And if you have pre-marital sex, you will have effect, it will have an effect on your religious belief and your social status if you do pre-marital sex. And you will have pre-marital bonding or emotional manipulations. Yan po ang risk of pre-marital sex. Okay, now. Ito ka na. Ito na. Picture lang tayo. Picture-picture lang tayo. Ito ay tsura ng isang teenager. May baby siya. Hindi na siya makaaral. Mag-aalaga na lang. Napaka-cute ng baby niya. Siyempre, paliliguan niya yan. She has to attend sa needs ng baby niya. So, wala siyang time mag-aaral. Kung siya po ay anak mayaman, abay, okay sana. Kasi si Lola, yung mami niya, pwedeng bigyan ng yaya ang kanyang apo. Pero kung ang teenager po ay wala pong kakayanan, nakuha niyo na po, wala kakayanan. Hindi kayang kumuha ng yaya, hindi na rin makaaral hindi rin maalagaan ng lola. So, ibig sabihin, ikaw mag attend sa iyong anak. Ayan, ang problema, may baby ka na, abay, nabuntis ka pa ulit. That's what I mean. Pag nabuntis po ang teenager, dapat po ini-educate pa po iyan. Hindi yung, bahala ka na dyan, nabuntis ka naman, di Bala ka na, mali po. Tinuturuan po dapat yung mga teenager na nabuntis na wag mo na ulit mabuntis. Got that? Ano eh, nangyari dito sa teenager na to? Ito yung baby niya. Batang-bata pa. Nabuntis ulit. Hindi na maasikaso ito. Wala, hindi naman niya kayang kumuha ng yaya. Hindi rin kaya alagaan ni Lola, ni Lolo, na mga kapatid, busy rin. Wala kasi kakayanan. Ano na mangyayari? Ano ba? Ayan. Ito po ay uh, isang documentary na ginawa. Ang tawag dito ay Batang Ina. Opo. Ginawa itong docu na to para marami pong matutunan ang mga teenagers. Kaso po, palagay ko, wala na rin pong natutunan kasi hanggang ngayon, pataas pa rin ang pataas ang teenage pregnancy. Ayan. Ito yung teenager. Imbis na enjoy alagaan ng kanyang anak, wala lang. Nabobore lang siya. Hindi siya masaya. Remember, if you have a child, you should be happy. 
having a child. Right? Hindi yung barungot-ngot ka, naiinis ka, nagkaanak ka, nabubwisit ka. Kasi it was an unintended pregnancy. It is an unwanted pregnancy. So yan ang itsura mo. Hindi po maganda. Hindi ba? Okay. Tingnan mo to. Chato. Sabi niya, I first got pregnant when I was 13 years old. Yung kinakwento ni Chato dito, meron siyang kilala na 12 years old pa lang na buntis na. Eh, panalo yun. Ito talo, 13. Yun, 12 years old. Hindi ba? Ay, nako. Problema po talaga. Now, eto na. So, anong tawag sa mga teenager na, na buntis? Teen moms. Okay. They are increasing and even getting younger. Alright? Now, itong nasa inquirer na binabasa ko kanina. Okay? Did you know that even at the age of 10, pwede mabuntis? Of course. Pag nagkaroon na ng mens ang teenager at the age of 9, buwan-buwan na yan ay nangingitlog. Pwede mabuntis? Pwede po. Now, eto na, another statistics. Naging teenage mom, tapos nabuntis ulit, second baby. Tingnan mo, ang statistics, marami pa rin sila. Even at the age of 15 hanggang 19, nagka-dalawang baby pa. At nagkaroon pa ng third baby at nagkaroon pa ng fourth at nagkaroon pa ng fifth. Oh my God! Bago siya even pumasok ng 20 years old, baka ang dami niya ng baby. Nakakatuwa ba yun? Paano niya maaalagaan yung katakot-takot niyang anak kung hindi man lang siya makatapos ng kanyang pag-aaral? Ano? Aasa ka? Sa magulang mo? Kung mayaman, pwede. Eh kung hindi, paano? Ayan. Ito, ang teenage mom. Buntis. Ay, ito yung first baby niya. Ito yung first baby. Ito yung second baby. Ayan ang sinasabi ko. So, kung may first baby na ang teenage mom, dapat yan ay na-educate po. Na wag na muna magka-second baby. Alright? Ito siya. Ay, nako. Ilan ang anak niya? One, two, three. Ayan. Baka naman mayaman siya. Ewan ko. Okay? Mayaman siya. Marami. Dapat kung mayaman ka, tigitigis ang yaya yan. Hello? Diba? Ito naman si Alfie. Alfie Patton. Tatay na po siya at the age of 13. O, taas ang kilay niyo, no? Dok, bata pa yan, Dok. Hoy, 13 years old na. Itong lalaking ito, even 13, ay tumapak na sa age of puberty. Ibig sabihin, siya ay nagpo-produce na ng Maraming testosterone at sperm cells. Got that? Yes. Ha? Akala ninyo, ha? Akala ninyo, teenager na babae lang ating aatakihin ngayon, ha? Even male teenagers can already produce sperm at nakakabuntis na, of course. Alright? Okay. Sa Pilipinas po ay maraming nabubuntis pa rin. Ayan nga po, kababasa ko lang sa Inquirer. Dated September 18. Okay. Why? Because roughly one in four teenagers get pregnant by the age of 20. Imagine that. Grabe, di ba? Eto na, panalo na tayo. Hindi lang tayo panalo sa COVID-19 kundi panalo rin tayo sa paramihan ng teenage moms. Pangalawa, Indonesia, pangatlo, Cambodia, 
Number four, Thailand. Number five, Vietnam. Number six, Brunei. Seven, Myanmar. Eight, Malaysia. Nine, Singapore. Ten, Laos. But number one, mataas na bilang and teenage pregnancy. Philippines. So, ano yung basic facts of teenage pregnancy? Ano yung basic facts? Okay? Stop share ko muna. Okay? Meron ba ng text sa atin? Mamaya mo na sabihin, ano yung basic facts of teenage pregnancy? May kilala ba kayo na ganyan ang nangyari? Let's see. Let's do sharing first. Mag-sharing muna tayo. Mag-sharing tayo. Uh-huh. Okay. Now. Nancy Poblete, hello. You are also a, a, a you are also an educator, a teacher, right? So, may kilala ka ba, Nancy Poblete, na teenager pa lang na buntis na? Nancy? Yes, Nancy, hello. Okay. Let's see. Basahin natin. Magbasa muna tayo na ang mga textures natin, okay? Now, see. Um, okay. Magbabasa po ang Lola. Ibo na darna, ganda ng topic. Share ko po, Doc. Sige, share niyo po. No problem. Oo. Okay. Girlie Kimchu Kimchu, ewan ko lang sa Cotabara City kung kumusta naman dyan ang mga teenage pregnant. Sabi ni Nancy Pablada, naku, topic po namin yan sa MAPE class, grade 10, 40 high school. To be honest, sabi ni Nancy Pablada, sakit sa bangs, matitigas ng ulo nila. Si? Mismo, Nancy Pablete, also a teacher, an educator. Siya na mismo nagsabi, mahirap daw turuan. You know why, Nancy? Kasi dapat ang pagturo ng sex education, hindi nag-uumpisa sa school. Dapat sa magulang. Right? Di ba, Nancy? Kaya pag pumunta o dumating yan sa eskwela ninyo, sakit talaga sa ulo. Kahit na nag educate ka, baka nagtatawa lang. Di ba, Nancy? Right. So, Normita, madukdok. Kumusta po? Alright. Very good. Now. Uh, oh, Jenny. Hello, Jenny. Kumusta na mga tinapay mo dyan? Bake ng bake. Sana malapit ka so I can order. Yeah, I like bread. I like bread. Uh -oh. I like bread. And who else? And of course, si... Uh... Alright. Tuloy natin. Tuloy natin ha. Tutuloy natin. But check mo na natin to Wait. Check natin. If you'd like to tell me something, just text me. Just have to text me. So, mabasa natin yung mga comments niyo ha. Very important. Okay. Ayan. Aida Bernados. Oo. Jenny. Hi, Jenny Mata. Doktora. Hello, Doktora Mata. How are you? I miss you. At least now you can listen. Can you comment on our topic? What are the reasons why? You Answer me, anyone. What are the reasons why teenagers get pregnant? Nancy Pobleta, why? Bakit nabubuntis yung mga teenagers? Hindi niyo sinasagot eh. Answer me. Dr. Jenny. Bakit? Bakit sila nabubuntis? I don't know. Tell me. Aida, bakit sila nabubuntis? Before I tell you the reasons why, share it to me. Okay? Very important po. Hindi yung ako lang, ako lang dadaldal dito. Kailangan sabihin niyo sa akin, ano yung inside your mind, inside your mind, why? Okay? Sex is good. Of course, sex is good. Pag nabuntis ka naman, paano naman magiging good yan? Oo. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so, aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. Dr. Jenny, why are teenagers getting pregnant? Why? Okay. Tell me. 
John Jovan, uy, bakit kaya? Antay-antayin ko yung mga sagot nyo, pero kung ayaw nyo sumagot, it's okay. No problem. Hmm, sabi nga nila, wala daw guidance. Kulang din siguro ng guidance ng magulang. Sabi ni Normita, wala na yung madukdok. Correct? That is the number one reason why they are pregnant. No guidance from parents. Wala po. Correct po yan. Let's proceed with our PowerPoint, alright? It's at 11.3. Okay, tuloy po natin. Ayan. The basic facts of teenage pregnancy. Ano pa talaga yan, teenage pregnancy na yan? Bakit pa talaga nabubuntis? Eh, ang sarap yan. <laughs> Masarap. Alam nyo, yung, yung sex na yan eh. Eh, nakakalimot eh. Pag nakalimot, yun ang problema, hindi eh, ba, Dr. Jenny? Right? Pag nakalimot, tapos uh, nangingitlog, fertile, hit the spot, patay tayong bata dyan, nabuntis, mama, mama, mm. hindi ako nagmens mm. Ayan, buntis, ayos. Okay? So, what are the basic facts of teenage pregnancy? Okay? May mga physical reasons mo na. Ito po yon. At the age of puberty and adolescence, you get pregnant and you do sex. Because at the age of puberty, you, you have lots of hormones, testosterone and estrogen. And if testosterone is I, remember testosterone is the hormone of passion, the hormone of desire. It's the hormone that makes you really hot. Yes. Nakuha na. Okay. Ko, age of puberty and early adolescence, you are hot. So, may explanation. Ay, may science pala, dida, Doc. Siyempre, may science. Okay. But if you will not use your brain, if you will not use your amygdala, your seat of emotion, patay tayo dyan. Bibigay ka ng bibigay. Okay? Nakalimot ka na na ikaw ay tao. Hindi ka aso. Hindi ka pusa. Hindi ka baboy. Hindi ka kabayo. Okay? Tao ka. Kata? So at the age of puberty and adolescence, you have lots of testosterone and estrogen. Testosterone are more sa mga teenagers na lalaki. That's why they have more desire, passion. They're hot, full of lust. Okay? What about mga babaeng teenager, Tita Doc? The same, pero mas iba sa mga teenager na lalaki kasi mas marami silang testosterone. Ang mga babae, mas konti. Pero marami silang estrogen. Pag maraming estrogen, ay naku po, buwan-buwan, nangingitlog ang mga babaeng teenager. Pag nangitlog yan at may nakialam sa itlog mo, bata, ay naku po, mabubuntis ka. Alright? Got that? Okay. Now, another physical reason kung bakit nagkakaroon ng pre-marital sex because you date so early. nag -de 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 date ka. Okay? Early dating can lead to date rape. Date rape. Okay? Pwede ka nag-date na hindi alam ng magulang mo. Or pwede ka rin nag-date na nagpaalam ka sa magulang mo. Tama? Okay? So once lumabas ka ng bahay ninyo, anything could happen. It could be a date rape. Which just means that Pwede ikaw ay, ayan, alcohol and drugs. Pwede ikaw ay nalasing or nilasing. Pwede ikaw ay nag-drugs or na-drug. Okay? Now, that's the reason why you make love. That's the reason why you do sex. Okay? Now, sabi ng iba, itadok. Okay. Oh. 
hindi ako mabubuntis. Bakit? Kasi po nagbe-birth control ako, gumagamit po kami ng mga kondom. Ayan. Haka-haka po yan. Hindi ibig sabihin na kondom ka, bata. Hindi ka makakabuntis. Kasi may right timing ang paggamit ng kondom. Got that? Okay. Hindi lahat na nagko-kondom ay hindi nakakabuntis. Pwede ka pa rin makabuntis kahit na ikaw ay nakakondom. Halo? Paano yun, Dok? Ayan, nagtanong. Nakakondom, Dok. Tapos sa buntis man. Eto nga, ikikwento ko. Right timing of wearing condom is <laughs> bago ka pa magkaroon ng penetration, dapat mag-condom ka na. Kasi yung pong ari ng lalaki ha, ay nagkakaroon na ng tinatawag na pre-com. P-R-E dash C-O-M-E. Parang meron ng lumalabas. Pre-ejaculate po ang tawag doon. Got that? Yung pre-ejaculate or pre-com ay meron na pong sperm yan. Got that? Pag sa mong pre-ejaculate, meron ng seminal fluid yan. At sa seminal fluid na yan, meron na nagsiswimming-swimming na sperm cells. At pag kayo ay nagtalik, nagkaroon ng penetration, tapos fertile pa si babae, the possibility of getting pregnant ay mataas. Tapos, eh nag-condom naman ako, eh nung talagang ako ay mag-ejaculate na, huling na po. Huli na. Tapos na. Meron ng nauna. Okay? So, yung pong birth control ay isang haka-haka sa safe sex. Got that? Ayan. So, may mga nagtatanong eh, Tito Dok, nag-condom man ako, but tapos sa buntis man. That's the reason why. Pre-com or pre-ejaculate. Tapos, fertile pa si babae. Alright? Yes. Now, so, may mga cultures motto. Ibig sabihin, sabi, ni, sabi ng iba, Tito Dok, mm, if it feels good, do it. Ay, bahala kayo. Problema nyo yan. Pag nakabuntis ka or nabuntis ka, that's your problem. Dahil ako po ay nag educate dito kung ano yung tamang pwedeng gawin. Huwag mo laging iisipin, if it feels good, do it. Ayan na naman. Do, kasi masarap man siya, do. Bahala kayo. Buhay nyo yan eh. Hindi ko naman yan buhay. Nandito lang po ako para kayo ay educate So, educate your children or educate your grandchildren. Okay? Now, yung physical reason kung bakit nagsisex, pre-marital sex at nabuntis, it could be a fallout of prior sexual abuse. Ibig sabihin, meron na abuso. Child abuse. Karamihan po ng mga naabuso ay hindi po nagsasalita. Natatakot, nahihiya. At yung biktima, pag hindi po nagsalita at hindi nagsumbong, kinikim-kim niya ang problema na yan. Pag kim-kim po niya ng problema yan, ay iba po ang ginagawa niya. It's either magiging withdrawn siya withdrawn. Ibig sabihin like ayun na makipag-aibigan o galit na siya sa lalaki, sa babae, lagi siya galit sa mundo or pwede siya bumigay. Bumigay means ay nawala na yung virginity ko. So gagawa na lang ako ng gagawa. Magsi-sex na lang ako ng magsi-sex. Anyway, hindi na ako virgin. Si so iba-iba po ang tinatawag na reason kung bakit nagsisex yung bata. Katat? Kaya nakakatakot. Masarap po yan. Kaya alam po, problema po siya. Now, again, ano yung causes ng teenage pregnancy, Tita Doc? Pwedeng curious lang o nag-experiment lang ba? Kasi ginagawa man yan ng mga 
classmate ko, ng mga barkada ko, ng mga beshi ko, ng mga BFF. Parang uso man dok ba? Parang trending ba dok? Ang alin? Pagiging buntis? Opo. Bala ka. Katawan mo yan. Hindi ko yan katawas. <laughs> so it could be curiosity or experimentation. Number two, pwedeng napilitan ka lang. Peer pressure. Kasi barkada system. Okay? Or pwedeng pinilit ng boyfriend. Nakuha na. Peer pressure. Next, it could be uh, a family-related problem. Visit sa mga magulang at napupunta ang kanyang, alam mo na, simpatiya sa barkada, simpatiya sa boyfriend. Tama? Or it could be a family-related problem kung bakit ikaw ay nabuntis. Masyado ka ng tiwala sa iyong mga barkada. Next would be lack of information dahil nga hindi ka educated, hindi ba? Na dapat ay inaalagaan mo, bata, hello, ang iyong itlog. Ang itlog po ay hindi lamang sa mga lalaki. Siyempre, yung mga lalaki may mga itlog sila, di ba? The left and the right eggs. The left and the right testicles. Pero ang mga babae po ay meron silang itlog na naproproduce every month. Ang tawag doon ay nag-ovulate siya. Nag-ovulate. Nag-ovulate ka lamang kung ikaw ay nagme-menstruate pa. Okay? Kasi pag nagmenopause na, wala na pong ovulation. Wala na pong itlog pag menopause na. Got that? Okay. Now, another cause ng teenage pregnancy ay the influence of liberal views on sex. Okay, now, pag masyadong open sa topic about sex, wala kang pakialam. Hindi ba? Like, oh, we talk about sex. Oh, you talk about sex and sex and sex, pero wala ka ng control. Hindi mo na alam kung ano yung bawal. Ano yung dapat gawin? Masyado kang liberated. Can you be pregnant if you are liberated? Of course. Hindi mo na alam ano yung tama o mali eh. You're so liberated. You were not guided. Okay? So yan ang causes of teenage pregnancy. Next slide. Ano ang risk sa isang teen mom? Hindi ka na makakaaral. Hindi ka na makakatapos ng high school. Okay? Sana kung mayaman kayo, si Lola, si Lolo, aalagaan yung apo mo, ay apo nila, tapos ikaw, mag-aaralin nila. May yaya. Pero what if? Walang kakayanan. Wala. Hindi ka makakapag-aaral. Right? So, yun yung risk ng pagiging teen mommy. Okay? Tapos dependent ka lang sa welfare. Paasa ka lang kung ano yung iaabot sa'yo. Di ba? At kung minsan naman, pag nagbuntis ang teenager, pinaghihiwalay, hindi naman pinag-aasawa. Uy! Uwi ka dun sa nanay mo. Hindi pa pwedeng mag-asawa tong anak ko. Nabuntis ka lang. Di ba may ganun? So ang tawag dun ay single parenthood. So sad, di ba? It's really sad. And, isa pang risk na isang teen mommy, more likely to have more children. Ayan ang nga sinasabi ko eh. Minsan ka nabuntis, the likelihood that you'll be pregnant again, mataas. So you have to be educated after your first pregnancy. Because the tendency will be you'll be pregnant again and again and again. Buti sana kung mayaman kayo. Kasi kung tatlo anak mo, tatlo yaya, bigay ni lolo at ni lola, eh hindi naman. Right? Okay. Now kung marami kang anak, more likely to abuse or neglect. 
the child. Hindi mo na kaya alagaan yung anak mo. Nabubuisit ka na, barungot-ngot ka na. Parang para sa iyo, istorbo yung anak mo. Hindi ba? So, yun ang risk for being a teen mommy. Ngayon, ano pa? Kung teenage pregnant ka, ang tendency, hindi ka nga nagpapacheck up. Ayaw mo mag-prenatal check up. Hindi mo nga alam kung saan ka manganganak. Hindi mo alam kung ano yung vitamins na iinumin mo. Mali-mali pa yung kinakain mo. Then you can be malnourished. Okay? Or ayan na, inadequate prenatal care. No? Vitamins. Patay na. Remember, pag buntis, dapat may tinatawag na vitamins for pregnant women. Yung iba naman, ay, nagpapa-abort lang. Right? Meron, dita, Dok. Bawal sa Pilipin siya, Dok. Ha, 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 ha. Napatawa lang ako. Meron po, nangyayari pa rin po ang abortion sa Philippines. Maraya pong nakatago dyan na abortionista. So, scary po yan. Really scary. Okay? Pag hindi po naalagaan ng isang teenage pregnant, pwede it can lead to fetal death. Pwede walang nourishment yung bata. Pwede pag inilabas mo yan, patay na. Or, another risk is magkakaroon ka ng cervical cancer. Okay? Now, Paano man ma-prevent yan, Tita Dok? Yung buntis-buntis na yan kasi masarap man yan. Ayan na naman. Masarap na naman. How to prevent it? Keep the teenager at home with an intact family setup. Ibig sabihin, mama, papa, dapat marunong kang mag-educate ng iyong mga anak. Even at a young age, pwede na po i-educate. Abangan po ninyo ang topic ko about educating bracket by bracket. Even at a young age, from five years old going up. Abangan nyo po yan ha. Okay, how to prevent? Keep them in school. Ayan, yung iba naman, hindi alam na mga magulang, hindi na pumapasok sa eskwela, kung hindi yung anak nila ay pumapasok lamang saan. Hindi sa eskwela, kung hindi sa sidihan. O kaya sa mga motel, o kung saan-saan lang, at nabubuntis. Right? Okay. And number three, ito yung pinakagusto ko. Keep talking to them. In other words, you have to communicate with your children, even at a young age. Tell them the importance of the parts of their body. Yan ang sinasabi kong pag-educate pagbatak pa. Anatomy po, importance of how to take care of their body parts. So keep talking to them. Bata pa or grade school or high school and even kahit na college na, keep talking to them. Number four, keep them morally and spiritually grounded. Alam nyo na po yan as a parent, di ba? Kung meron kayong religious uh, organization, meron kayong mga meeting, mga, mga whatever teachings about morality, okay, between you and your relatives and family, kayo na po ang gumawa niyan. Kailangan ma-initiate pong gawin yan, okay? Kaysa yung anak ninyo, walang ginawa, kundi manood lamang na Netflix or kaya magtago lang doon sa kwarto at hawak-hawak palagi yung cellphone, Facebook ng Facebook, wala lang. At pwede pa makapanood ng porn. Yes, ang porn po ngayon, libre na po. Sinasabi ko po sa inyo, hindi po katulad ng unang panahon kasi senior na po ako, di ba? We cannot even watch pornography at even at a young age, hindi po. Pero ngayon, Naku, i-google mo lang yan, pornography. Lalabas na po, libre. Okay? So, nakatakot po. Alright? Now, so sex education is very important. Kasi kung hindi po, malaki pong problema. 
Now, I want to tell you that be responsible for every action you make. Okay? Ito po ay parang boring pakinggan. Pero maki makinig po kayo ng mabuti. Please lang po. Importante po to Pandemic panic po ngayon. Meron ba nabubuntis si Tado kahit na pandemic panic? Meron. Meron nga mga buisit na hahanap sa website. Yung mga single na mga manyakis na mga lalaki. Magtatit, hahanap yan ng website. Kung saan makakuha ng girl para machong-chang niya. Come on. Hello. March tayo na quarantine, di ba? April, may nahuli na sa news. Yung isang ina, binenta yung anak at mga pamangkin niya sa isang lalaki para, ma para makipag-sex. Paano ko na buntis yun? Paano na? Paano ko nagkaroon ng tulo? Paano ko na covid Eh, Tita Dok, masarap man, Tita Dok. Eh, na naman kayo sa sarap-sarap nyo. Masarap talaga yan. Eh, hindi ginagamit yung amigdala nyo, yung pinaka-core of your brain eh. Wala lang eh. Mas lalo na pag, mas lalo na pag nakainom. Pag nakainom na, wala. Chalap-chalap man, Tita Dok. Lashing na ako, Tita Dok. Eh, na naman. So, be responsible for every action you make. Do not be blind. By what you saw. Do not be deaf by what you hear. Do not be fooled by what you want. Do not be dumb by what you feel. You have to think. You have to resist. You have to say no. You have to stand still. Yan po ay message ko sa mga teenagers. Kung wala tayong teenagers na present ngayon, Anybody here, kahit na anong edad nyo, 30-ish, 40-ish, 50-ish, senior, yan ang sabihin ninyo sa inyong anak, sa inyong apo. Especially sa mga teenagers. Do not be blind by what you saw. Do not be deaf by what you hear. Do not be fooled by what you want. Do not be dumb by what you feel. You have to think You have to resist. You have to say no. And you have to stand still. Okay? So again, pre-marital sex can lead to teenage pregnancy. If you can say no, how nice. Okay? Say no to pre-marital sex and you will not be pregnant. Alamat po ha? So again, ang pre-marital sex book can kill you. It only takes once to get pregnant. It only takes once to get a venereal disease. It only takes once to die from AIDS. Although it's good, chalap, 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 pero hello, baka ikaw ay mabuntis or makabuntis or baka magkaroon ka ng venereal disease like tulo, koto, kulugo, at kung ano-ano pa ang problema sa iyong ari, you might even have human immunodeficiency virus that can lead to acquired immunodeficiency disease and you can die of that problem. AIDS. Okay? All right now, Uh, very important. Did you learn a lot? I'm sure. Kahit na sabi niyo po sa akin na alam na namin yung doke. Eh. I will not stop talking about it. Kasi yung iba na kalimot. Sad iba. If you let me read this newspaper, okay? So yung newspaper po ay uh, sa Inquirer. Right? So, bubuksan ko siya sa page 4. Basahin natin. Kasi yun yung kanyang mismong uh, headline. Let's go to page 4. Basahin natin na page 
All right. Okay, sabi dito, pregnancy, pregnancy among girls below 15, rising according to the popcom. Okay, now, sabi dito, the number, the number of children, the number of children below 15 years old who had gotten pregnant has doubled in 10 years. So since 2010 to 2020, Dumoble pa, smiyo, has doubled in 10 years according to the Commission on Population and Development, which is backing a proposed law to raise the age for statutory rape and improvement in sexuality education to curb teenage pregnancies. Imagine. Okay. Ano pa sabi dito? Popcom Executive Director Juan Antonio Perez III said, Pregnancies among children aged 10 to 14 years old went up to 2,218, more than double the 1,000 in 2007. Just grab it. 10 to 14 years old, the buntis na. 10 to 14. What do you mean? 10 to 14 years old, the buntis na. Yung nagtanong yun, ikaw tita do, kailan ka nag-first baby? 27. <laughs> ikaw chato, kailan ka nang anak? Sige nga, text nyo ako. Sige nga. Kasi dito, sabi dito, 10 to 14 years old, nagkabuntisan na halakoy. Ang tita do, 27. O, oh, kayo. Jenny Mata, o, oh, o. Oh. Sino pa? Ano age kayo na pregnant? Sige nga. Sabi ni Arnel Abarasco, so true, Doc. Yeah, okay. All right, and then sabi pa ni Arnel, withdrawal is okay. No, it's not. Arnel, it's not. It is not. Yes. Kahit sabihin mo, effective sa akin eh. Hmm. Not always. Baka makachempo ka. Sabi ko na sa'yo. Thank you very much din po, Doc. Okay, that's Ibona Darna. Mm -mm. Angelica Padilla, love, Tita Show. Very good info and entertaining. Hi, Angelica, how are you? Mm -mm. Uh, anong sabi ni Arnel? Wait lang. Si Arnel, madaming text. Aha, okay. Baka maagang command. Maagang command. Anong maagang command? Kasi naman, Doc, ganyan ang kabataan ngayon. Yun nga ang problema. Okay? Would we just accept that because teenagers are like that now? No. Because they were not educated. They were not educated, Arnel. They were not. We cannot just say that. Kasi ganit, ganun na talaga ngayon, Doc. Nagsisex na lang, Doc. Anong pakialam mo, Doc? Come on. <laughs> Kaya, nandito ako para magturo. Sinasabi ko na sa si I go out of my way talking to students. Naging lecturer na po ako sa high school, high school students. Even there, sa Leyte. Lumipad pa kami, papuntang Leyte. Oh my God. Alam mo, Arnel, ang naging, naging respond nung students after I talk. Two days, I was talking morning, afternoon, morning, afternoon. Sa high, 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 high school lang. Senior high. Nagulat sila. Ay, ganun pala dapat. And uh, after my lecture there, ginawa ng mga teachers, yung leader sa bawat klase nagsalita isa-isa after my lecture. Grabe ang response. Pinipigil ko yung iyak ko eh. Kasi kung gaano sila ka-thankful. Kasi I tell them, don't call me just doktora. Call me your tita doc or mommy doc. May nagsalita. Nagpapasalamat po kami. Share ko lang po sa inyo. Kasi talagang tumama dito sa puso ko eh. 
Akala ko kasi nag, nag-lecture lang ako, nagkikwento ako, ako about their anatomy, ganun, dinadaan ko lang sa biro. Sabi nga may nag-comment ka dito, amusing ako, nagbibiro, entertaining. Dinadaan ko lang po sa ganun na yon. That's how I lecture. Kasi po kung seryoso ka, ah, wala, matutulog po yung tao. Kailangan, you, you, go, you go with the feeling of the audience. Hindi yung parang teacher ka lang, hindi ka na naintindihan, nag-anatomy ka, boring, nakakaantok. No, I cannot do that. And even talking to senior high, listening to me, so at the first, nag-bonding mo na kami sa so don't call me doktora, call me your tita doc or mommy doc. Gusto nila mommy doc. Kasi doon yung mga mommy nila, hindi doon ganun magsalita. So nagbigay sila ng, ng uh, comment after I talk. I listen. Kento ko lang. Gulat ko talaga. I was controlling my tears. Eh. Sabi, ang dami doon nila natutunan. Yung mommy or daddy daw nila, hindi nila alam. Ganun pala dapat. And, uh, Kilala nila yung mga classmate nila na nabuntis. And sana daw bumalik ako dun para maturuan ulit sila. So I tell them, kung ano yung tinuro ko sa inyo, ikuwento nyo po sa, sa mga kamag-anak nyo, sa mga classmate nyo, sa younger students. Kasi I was only talking to senior high eh. I was uh, talking to first year or second year, hindi po. And then, sabi pa nung isa, we never realize that's how important our body is. Wow. Parang we were just playing around with it. Pag may crush kami, Tita Dok, wala kami yung pakialam. We even go beyond our needs. Para bang kung gusto namin gawin yun, gagawin namin. And we were not guided at the right time na hindi dapat. Grabe. Grabe yung ano nila. Yung, yung mga reactions sila after I talk. I never realized na ganun yung effect. Well, di ako napagod eh. Kasi nung pumunta kami sa Hindang Leyte, sabi, magsalita daw ako sa gymnasium. Nung sa gym, auditorium o gymnasium po yon, Basketball court, parang ganyan. And uh, he told me that isang sabay na lang daw yon, Two days, tapos marami. Okay, two days. Sa second day, marami din. Parang doon sa malaki nilang gym. Hindi ako pumayag. Ayaw ko ng ganyan. Kasi magulo. I cannot get through the student. Kailangan tama lang ang dami. Sa pinahati-hati ko. Mapapagod ka, Tita Dok. Hindi ako mapapagod. Gawin niyo, hatiin niyo yon first day sa umaga at sa hapon. Okay? Hatiin niyo pa sa dalawa sa umaga, dalawa sa hapon. Second day, dalawa sa umaga, dalawa sa hapon. Wow, eight times ang salita. Ulit-ulit, same topic. Wow. I enjoy that. Kasi nakita ko yung mga reaction sila. Eh. And bawat skwela, bawat section, boys and girls. Nasa kaliwa yung boys, nasa kanan yung girls. I cannot forget that. Then I had another session sa Lasal. Ito sa Green Hills. Ang topic ko naman, pornography. Yeah. Pornography and masturbation. It has to be talked about. Wala pong masama dun. And they love my talk. At first, ang mga... Ang mga estudyante sa Lasal, tawa-tawa lang, nag-enjoy. X-rated ang topic. Right? 
So I bonded with them first. We laugh, tawa tawa lang kami. And on the second part of my lecture, seryoso na sila. Kasi sinasabi ko na sa kanila kung anong pwedeng mangyari kung palagi silang nanonood ng pornography and they become addicted and they keep on masturbating, something will happen to them. Nagulat sila. Kasi masarap man lang, di ba? Manood ka na X-rated tapos nag-masturbate ka. Siyempre masarap, di ba? Ano? Hello? But if you keep on doing that, may mangyayari po hindi maganda. Ano hindi mangyayari? Ano mangyayari daw? If you keep on watching pornography every day, your brain will shrink. You are already addicted. You have so much dopamine in your brain. You need a lot of reward. That's why you're addicted. And if you keep on masturbating, if you keep on masturbating because you're watching X-rated and pornography, because enjoy na enjoy ka. If you are right-handed, your penis will bend to the left. If you are left-handed, your penis will bend to the right. Nakakatawa? Hindi pa wala kayo. That's anatomy and physiology. Come on. My God. Alright. Now. Yan, pangaralan mo. Nga, mga yan, Dok. Ito lang ang pangaralan ko sila. Mm -mm. Eh, walang pambayad, Dok. Ikaw naman, Dok. Walang pambayad? Walang pambayad saan? Saan walang pambayad, Arnel? Sa wala pang bayad? Sa education? Libre na nga. Nandito na nga ako eh. Libre nga to. Facebook nga eh. Diba? Anong babayaran? Arnel, I'm educating everybody now. And all those who are present now, you can educate somebody else. Kaya po ako dakdak ng dakdak dito. May PowerPoint pa. Kung ano narinig nyo po dito, ay pwede niyo po ang ikwento sa iba. Okay, Arnel? Got that? Yes. Okay. Alright. Thank you, Arnel. Okay. So, for those who like to comment, mag-comment lang po. No problem. <laughs> Ayan. Sige. Alam niyo po sa ibang country, pag nabuntis, papa-abort. Do you know what countries? Kayo magsabi sa akin. May countries po na pwede ang abortion. Meron po. If anyone here knows where, tell me. Kayo magsabi sa akin. Okay? Pero pwede. Uh, meron ibang countries na talagang they educate by providing condom, birth control pills, yes? Pwedeng bilhin, yung iba binibigay. Pero meron po dito sa Philippines yung tinatawag na project ng mga ng Department of Health na mamimigay yung mga mga clinics ng libreng condom, ng li, libreng birth control pills. Yeah. Yung iba, uh, merong uh, other ways to uh, prevent pregnancy. May binibigay na injection. Right? So, depende po yan. My point is, I'm talking about teenage pregnancy. I'm talking about teenage pregnancy. Kaya yun ako pa tinatanong, bakit nabubuntis ang teenager? Nasagot ko na kanina. Peer pressure, barkada, date rape, nalasing, nag-drugs, na-abuso, child sexual abuse. Right? Imagine, nasa newspaper na nga the other day, eto yung newspaper. Ano ba sabi dito? Aha. Uh -huh. 
Okay, sabi pa dito, uh, meron daw mga panukala na na dapat daw age of consent. Sabi dito, we have roughly 40 to 50 10-year-old children giving birth every year. 10 to 14 years old, nanganganak na. Wow. Okay? In all, there were 62,000 minors aged 10 to 18 who gave birth in 2018. 2018 ha? 2018, meron na 62,000 minors ang edad ay 10 to 18. Wow. Okay? All right now. Sabi ni uh, Miguel Zubiri, pag pinataas daw ang age of consent in the country from 12 years old to no less than 16 years old could help prevent adolescent pregnancies. Okay? But this would mean that those who have sexual relations with minors 16 years old and under will be held liable for statutory rape. Ayan. Mm, kay ingat kayo mga lalaki kayo. Sino-sino pinagagalaw niyo diyan ng mga bata kasi gusto niya bata. Pwede kayong mm, makasuha ng rape. Tumigil kayo ha. Okay. All right. So, marami pa dito sinasabi. Got that? Oh, grabe ha. Ganyan lang. Sa so, kota ba ito? Ewan ko lang kung marami dyan teenage pregnancy. Marami ba? Girly kimchu kimchu? Tell me. Marami ba? Meron nga iba eh na uh, nabuntis tapos pinaghiwalay. Paano yun? Hindi pwede pagsama do kasi pareho pang high school student. Pwede. Yung iba naman, pinagsasama. Pag pinagsama naman, dapat hindi mo na mabuntis ulit. Kasi pareho pa nag-aaral. Pag pinaghiwalay, you know, mental health problem. Right? It is a problem. It's very important that uh, they have to be educated. Okay? Sabi ni Arnel again, U.S. is legal abortion, but I think no more. Okay. Angelica Padilla, abortion is legal. Okay. But not all states. Yes. Correct. Angelica. Yes. And um, thank you, Aida Bernardos and Nilda. Nilda Sumabat, hello. How are you, Nilda? I miss you. Mm -mm. Bernadette Castillo, USA, legal abortion. Yeah. Amsterdam. Legal na abortion sa Amsterdam. Okay. So actually, Normita, marami pang ibang lugar na legal po ang abortion. Hindi lang Amsterdam. You can actually Google that. You Google it now. Malalaman po ninyo kung ano yung mga countries na pwede ang abortion. But not in the Philippines. Alright? Hindi po dito. Alrighty. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so sino pa ang magko-comment? Sino pa magko-comment? I'm going to read it. Habang may time pa tayo. And before I go, let's see. Uh oh, let's see. Mm -hmm. Yes. Do you have any suggestion kung anong gusto yung topic? Alam mo, maganda talaga yung topic about uh, sex education, eh? yung bracket, age per bracket, kung how young dapat ma-educate ang bata. Nagawa ko na magandang PowerPoint yon, Kasi ayoko yung basta dala ng daldal. Eh. Kailangan meron kang visual aid. Right? Yes. Okay, so anyway, uh, share ko lang po sa inyo that uh, itita Dok, okay na tayo ha? Okay. Share ko lang sa inyo na meron tayong pwedeng gawin. Okay? To be a good educator like me, like anyone here, like si Bernadette or si Arnel or Angelica. Okay? Yes. Ange Sabi ni Angelica Padilla, you make it not a boring, tita. This is important because info sticks better when entertained. 
Okay, this is why lots of people listen to you and follow you. If only we can squeeze this discussion or talks, okay? If we can talk about it in the Christmas party for the young ones and older too. Of course, uh, you know what, Angelica, I'm being invited to a various groups and organization to talk about anything. Um, Minsan po, kahit hindi po section topic, Angelica, I talk about mental health, yes, or stay in shape amidst pandemia. So there's no sex there. It's all about how you sleep better, exercise at home, proper diet, no unlimited rice, drink lots of water, not so much alcohol, okay, and Drink lots of antioxidants. Ah, ano antioxidants ito, Doc? Food supplements. Yeah. And hindi ko na alam sa inyo, if you could see on my Facebook, meron po akong pinost doon na naging guest po ako ni Idol Rafi Tulfo. If you know him, do you know Rafi Tulfo? Yeah. Naging guest po ako doon and um, pinag-usapan po namin about immune system. Yeah. And is it important to uh, drink food supplements? Kasi meron po in-endorse si Idol Rafi Tulfo, yung pong vitamin C and zinc. So I talk about vitamin C and zinc. Then he even asked me about what's the difference between vitamin C and sodium ascorbate, Angelica. So I explained. I'm sure lahat kinanunuo dito, drinking vitamin C. Do you? Come on, drink vitamin C. It's good. Yeah, it protects your cellular membrane. It does. Cellular membrane. Ano yung tita, Dok? <laughs> May hilig po talaga ako mag-science eh. Okay, di ba ang, ang cell natin, mayroong bilog siya. It's a cell. Tapos may talukap. May talukap. Membrane, may membrane po yung cells natin. Okay? Yung vitamin C, when you drink that, it becomes a guard. Guardiya po. Security guard po ng outer cellular membrane. That's a vitamin C. Tapos sinanong ni, Ra- ni Sir Rafi Tulfo kung what's the difference between vitamin C and uh, sodium ascorbate or calcium ascorbate. So, kinuntok rin sa kanya. Yung vitamin C is a natural vitamin C present sa mga prutas tulad ng mansanas, pineapple, orange, peras, at kung ano-ano pa. Pero po yung pag sinabi mong ascorbate, That's the mineral salt of vitamin C. Mineral salt means sodium ascorbate or calcium ascorbate. Hindi ba ang sodium at calcium mineral yun? Tama. So it's what you call now the alkaline form of vitamin C. Sodium ascorbate or calcium ascorbate. So is it better to drink that or yung vitamin C lang? It's much better to drink yung mineral ascorbates, yung alkaline vitamin C, non-acidic vitamin C. Why, tita, doc? Why? Kasi nga, pandemic panic ngayon. We are too acidic. Mahilig ka pa kumain ng mga acidic foods. Mahilig ka pa sa prito. Mahilig ka pa sa pagkain na may preservative. Processed food, delata. Unlimited rice, donut, cake, ice cream, hot dog, tocino, bacon. Those are acidic foods. Anything fried are acidic foods. <laughs> Mahilig ka pa sa acidic drinks. Yeah? Soap drinks are acidic drinks. Ordinary mga juice na powdered na panay asukal lang naman acidic po yan mas iinom ka pa ng vitamin C na ascorbic acid hindi makakabuti so much better yung mineral ascorbate tulad ng sodium ascorbate o yung calcium ascorbate which is a form of vitamin C okay Got that? Yes! So, alam nyo na ngayon. Kaya pag uminom kayo ng vitamin C, basahin ka agad yan. Sodium ascorbate ba to o calcium ascorbate? 
Okay. Tapos sinanong, tinanong pa nga ni Cara Fitulfo yung paano ba maging healthy ngayong COVID-19? Sabi niya, tinanong niya, di ba? You, you go to my Facebook, nandun lahat yung mga tanong niya. Oo. Anyway, kikwento ko lang. Habang sabi ko sa kanya, simple lang. Kung gusto mo maging healthy ngayong pandemic panic, do this. Five things. Five. Number one, ayos ang tulog. Six to seven hours. Tuloy-tuloy, hindi putol-putol. Malawa, proper diet. Nabanggit ko na kanina kung ano yung mga bawal. No acidic foods, no acidic drinks. Okay? Number three, exercise. How do you exercise in a dog pandemic? Oh, pwede. Pwede ka mag-skipping rope. Pwede ka mag-hula hoop. Hula, hula, hula hoop. Di ba? Okay? Tapos kumuha ka ng tali. Mag-skipping rope, skipping rope, skipping rope, skipping... Ano ba? Pag-yabang yun naman, gym-gym ka dyan. May pambayad ka. Mahal kaya yung gym. Kung mayaman ka, go. Eh, kung wala pera, hindi ka na makalabas eh. So, sleep six to seven hours. Continue. Number two, sabi ko sa kanya, proper diet. No acidic foods, no acidic drinks. Number three, exercise even though you're at home. Okay? Number four, drink lots of water. You can drink alak, pero wag sobra, moderate lang. You can drink one bottle of beer, regular bottle every day, dark beer, okay. Drink one or two glasses of red wine. Maliit lang. Okay din po. But too much. If it's too much of drinking, masama. Got that? Now. And number five, food supplementation. Vitamin C, if you like. Ang favorito daw niya yun eh. With zinc, very good. What is zinc? Alam niyo ba yung zinc sa nakukuha sa pagkain? Alam niyo po? Sa talaba. Hipon, crabs, at kung saan-saan pa. Sa karne rin, may zinc. Pero, sino sa inyo ang kumakain ng talaba araw-araw? Sino ang kumakain sa inyo ng alimango everyday? Hipon everyday? Mayaman? Kung mayaman ka, uh -uh. hello? Nakakasawa naman yung araw-araw kakaika ng talaba dahil sa zinc. So you can get that at least 10 milligrams of zinc every day. Uh, your immune system is good. Walang sipon. Remember, pag bumagsak po immune system ng tao, sipon ka agad. Yan ang unang sign that you have immune system na weak. Sinisipon ka. Pangalawa, lalamunan, makati, 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 makati. Mamaya, may ubo ka na. Paggrabe ng paggrabe. Hala ka, baka COVID na yan. Okay? So, it's very important to follow those five na sinasabi ko sa inyo. Para healthy. Yung pagsuot ng mask, ng shield, ugas kamay, social distancing, lagay na alcohol. Alam nyo na yan. Hindi ko na yun nilelecture. Kailangan ko ba i-lecture yan? Alam nyo na yun eh. See? So that's, that's a how. We should take care of our body. And aside from that, kasi nasa bahay lang tayo, lahat tayo nagninegosyo na. I'm sure kayo, kung marunong ka magluto, katulad nung, katulad ng mga pamangkin ko, at saka yung aking sister-in-law, ang galing-galing na nila ngayon gumawa ng Sushi? My God! At saka kimchi? Hindi naman nila ginagawa yan dati. Ngayon nakakulong sa bahay. Negosyo na nila yan sa Cotabato City. Hindi ba, girly kimchi kimchi? Right? Yeah, that's the business of my brother now and my sister-in-law and mga pamangkin. So, di, meron, si, meron ka na ngayon parang sariling negosyo. Yung mga hindi ko, mga hindi ko kakilala, mga kakilala ko, karamihan, Tita Doc, bili ka na embotido. Oh, sure. Nagluluto ka ba niyan dati? Hindi po, pero negosyo ko na po. Good. Hindi kanya-kanya negosyo. Right? Yes. It's not bad. So for me, um, do you have business, Ita Doc? Of course, I also have. Yeah. 
I uh, endorse phototherapy patches. Yeah, I also endorse uh, the product of uh, Arman Sebastian. The product from Japan, ang ganda. Mm -hmm. For four days company po yon. Ako naman po, I have patches. I have phototherapy patches from USA. I only endorse product that I like that really works. Kasi maraya pong product na parang product product lang ganon. Na pinipilit ako mag-endorse. Ayaw ko po eh. I only endorse product that I believe that can really work on your body. Totoo po yan. Maraming product. Bili ka sa GNC. Bili ka sa mga health food stores. Ang dami. Ako naman. Oo. Meron ngang collagen. Collagen. Katakot-takot na bote-bote yan. Kaso ako, I don't drink collagen tablet anymore. Okay. Pwede ako mag-take ng... Um, a source of collagen that will work. Like, for example, you in the endorse ni Arman Sebastian of four days. I like that. Pero it's a uh, natural juice from Japan. Yes. Mas okay, please. <laughs> anyway, kikwento ko lang. And another one is yung patches po. Wala siyang drugs, walang chemicals, no stimulants, but it can produce my own collagen. Po. And even my own stem cells. Stem cells po. Meron po stem cells na iniinom. Pero for me, I like the patch that can actually activate my own stem cells. <gasps> May ganon, tita dog. Meron. <laughs> I'm going to make a lecture about that via Zoom. But I need students with me. For those who like to be uh, interested with this phototherapy patches, mas gusto ko kung nag-zoom tayo eh. Okay? And Fatma Aligora, hello! Oh, Fatma Aligora is uh, with a company that endorses um, sildenafil. What is sildenafil? Yan po yung pampa-erect po ng penis. Okay? It's a uh, sildenafil that actually can help men with erectile dysfunction. So if you like to, to avail of, the, of, the, of this, Kohagra, text Sita Doc. I was sponsored by Fatma Aligora. Kohagra po. Kohagra, 100 milligrams. Okay? Kasi kaysa reseta lang, eh meron ako niyan. So you can buy from Tita Doc. Yung presyo ko po, pareho din ang presyo sa Mercury. Okay? Thank you, Fatma Ligora, for the Kohagra. Yes. <laughs> okay. So again, I have to endorse our online masterclass before I go. Um, meron po akong programa with Coach Jonathan Petalver, another parang online broadcasting. This is different from this one. Di ba Sabado ngayon? Doc Lulu Talks? Monday, Tuesday, Saturday. Doc Lulu Talks, 10 o'clock ng gabi hanggang alas 12, hindi ba? Pero pagdating po ng Thursday, starting October 1, okay, hindi ngayon Thursday coming, ha? Sa, sa, sa October po, sa October, uh, Thursday po ako. Kung October 1, mag start ulit si Coach Jonathan sa kanyang online broadcasting called Chomp Yunka. Okay, yun ang start niya. Yung next Thursday, October 8, I will be live with Coach. Yes. So it's not just all about sex, Arnel, ang topic ni Tita Doc. I talk about anything when it comes to overall wellness. Okay? <laughs> yung iba kasi nasanay. Nasanay kay Tita Doc, sex, sex, sex. Pwede naman po. Pero mas maganda po, let's talk about Anything. Anything po. Yun pa ang peg ko eh. I'm a wellness specialist. Not only on sex, but overall body. Okay. Angelica, thank you. Normita, salamat po. So, pwede mag-enroll. Pag nakita niyo po yung Facebook ni Tita Doc, nagkaroon po ako ng certification kasi nag-aral din si Tita Doc ng online entrepreneurial masterclass. O, sulat niyo May barang kayong mga lapis. A ballpen at papel. Sulat niyo po, paano mag-enroll? 
Isponsoran ko po kayo. Kaya instead na 2,500, 500 lang babayaran. Ang sponsor ko yung 2,000. Tatanggalin natin. Would you like that? Oh, what will you do? You go to www. www.coachjonathan.net Ulit. www.coachjonathan.net You can register for free. Free po yan. Free. Yun lang. www.coachjonathan.net Libre ang registration po doon sa online masterclass. You learn, you will learn there kung meron kang business or kung may business ka na o wala ka pang business. May idea ka na. Yan po ang tinuturo ni Coach. Napakagaling po. Doon ako natuto sa kanya eh. Yung mga entre entrepreneurial dyan, di ba? Ay, gusto ka mag-business. Eh, marunong ka ba mag-business? <laughs> Suntok sa online, online lang, tita doc, o ganyan, or online lang ba? It's not that way. Come on. It's not easy. It's not easy to have a business. Okay, dapat alam mo kung ano yung brand mo. Dapat mo na una, ituturo ni coach, maniniwala mo na sa inyo yung tao. Kahit nakaibigan mo, tapos nag-live ka, may prada ka, tapos parang, oh, hindi naman totoo yan eh. Oh, wala na. Kasi hindi naniniwala sa'yo. So, ituturo niya yung value mo na ng sarili mo. You have to brand yourself first. Okay? Eh, kung may product ka na, pwedeng maniwala na sa'yo. Tapos ituturo niya pa sa'yo yung sales. Can you sell it? Online? 100% you can sell? Talaga? Hmm. Tapos ituturo din niya sa'yo kung bumili nga at kung bibili ulit. May loyalty ba yung bumili sa'yo? Ang dami niya ituturo. Ang galing. Alam niyo po ako, gusto ko lagi natututo eh. Mas lalo na sa mga business-business na yan. Oh. Bakit kailangan mo matuto mag-business ito, Doc? Oh, why not? Yeah, I, can, I can teach you already now. Right? Hindi lang about sex. Like we can talk about business. Yes! Opo! Yan na natutunan ko kay Coach two years ago. Two years ago pa. Natutunan ko na po yan kay Coach Jonathan Petalver. Ano yung website? Before you go, Tita Doc, ano yung website? Yung libre mo na, yung libre. www.coachjonathan.net Yes. Okay, libre mo na yan. Muna, tapos Doc, may bayad yung susunod. Naman. Okay? Pandagdag ng course. At may certification na. May certification, may certificate. Yes! May exam? Meron. Oh. <laughs> hindi ka mahihirapan. Hindi ka kailangan mag-antay ng classmate. Kasi sabi nila, pag nag-enroll ako, Tita Doc, yung mga classmate ko, a-attend ba? No need! You can actually start your course kahit na 2 o'clock in the morning. Oo. Nandun na si Coach. Nasa video course na. Gising. Nagle-lecture na. Bawat module na matapos mo, alo ka, may exam. <laughs> May exam. Yes. Ay, naku, tuwan-tuwa ako eh. Nung nag-exam na ako, like, ako, multiple choice. <laughs> multiple choice. Ayaw ka na multiple choice. Mm, pero, napasa ko naman. So, if you see my Facebook, I took one course about um, master classes, online master classes, yung basic. Tapos, uh, nung napasa ko yon. Uh, I only paid uh, $499. Dapat $2,499 eh. And naabutan ko yung promo nung una. Kasi the other month pa ako nag-enroll and naabutan ko. Siyempre, kuripot din ang tita doc nyo. <laughs> $499. Nung napasa ko yun, lumabas ulit. Would you like to enroll again? Oh, okay. Pwede ulit. $499 din ulit. See? Yes! Dapat 2-5 yun eh. Parang 500 lang binayan ni tita doc nyo. Mm, galing. Yung susunod na course ko na napasa ko na, I already had examination. Uh, yung entrepreneurial management, napasa ko na rin. Mm, galing. That's why I'm sharing to you. 
Okay, so may nagtanong, may nagtanong din na um, how do you enroll kung 499 na? Okay, you can enroll kasi una free. Free yung www.coachjonathan.net. Libre yon. Okay, papatikimin lang kayo. And then what if you want yung may certification? Pwede. Na 499 lang? Pwede. Paano? And ito. www.coachjonathan.net coachjonathan.net tapos slash may slash idagdag entrep masterclass entrep masterclass so bubukas yung website pagbukas ng website hihingin din yung pangalan email address okay tapos sa bandang huli hihingin yung affiliate code Affiliate code, importante yon para 499 lang ay babayad nyo. So, ano yung affiliate code? 1004. Got that? Pag walang affiliate code, hala, mahal siya. 2,499. Pero pag pinasok mo yung 1004, it means I sponsored you. Tinanggal ko yung 2,000. 499 lang ibabayad nyo kay coach. Got that? So, pag hindi naintindihan, just look at my Facebook. It's all there. Okay? So, yan ang pagtuturo natin sa tinatawag na online masterclasses. So, you've got to learn to earn from home if you have business. Paganda po, kasi mga tao ngayon, business ng business, kung ano-ano lang, di ba? Mm -mm. Okay? All right. So, thank you so much, everybody. Marielle Katpagan. How are you? I love your dancing. Your TikTok, TikTok, TikTok. See, Marielle, I love it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, si Romney Natividad Barreto. And Alicia Ongchanko de La Paz. Kumusta naman? Sabi ni Angelica Padilla of Vitamin C. Every day po, frontliner here, much needed in these times. Correct. Vitamin C, take it every day. Mm -hmm. Okay, so thank you so much, ah. Mm -mm. Okay, so, magbababay na ba ako? Parang ayaw kayo iwanan. <laughs> Uwi na tayo. Nako, past 12 o'clock na pala. Okay, so it's already Sunday. And I'm sure you, we had so much fun. I, I had so much fun here. Sinisilit ko lang yung Doc Lulutox, eh. Baka may humabol. Habol, habol, habol. Yung mga tapik, tapik, tapik. I don't believe in COVID-19. Oh, okay. Arnel said, I don't believe in COVID-19. This is a lie because they want to control the whole world to become the new world. The pandemic, it came from the electromagnetic field. Remember, Doc, in 1918, they got flu when they launched the first internet and they launched 5G. Yes, I also believe on the ill effects of electromagnetic radiation. I also believe in that, Arnel. Yeah, so, meron din akong panglaban sa electromagnetic radiation. If you can see here, I have the... Uy, ano yan? <laughs> This is my energy glass. It reflects back electromagnetic radiation. It's my alpha spin. Opo. Dalawa yan. Nasa tabi na aking cellphone. Ito po siya. Ito po yung isa. Earrings. <laughs> Earrings. <laughs> And di po, alpha spin po yan. This is from Germany. Arnel. Yeah. Okay. It fights off the electromagnetic radiation of my laptop, of my cell phone. One, I have another cell phone here. Ito pa. Plus, ano pa electromagnetic radiation ko, Arnel? The Wi-Fi. Yes. So I'm swimming over electromagnetic radiation. It's everywhere. From my laptop, my cell phone, through my light. I have a light here in front of me and I have a strong Wi-Fi. So I need panglaban electromagnetic radiation. I have my alpha spin here. Yes. Marami po akong alpha spin. I can actually 
uh, protect myself from electromagnetic radiation by having four of this, four of that, nakapalibot pa sa akin, square. And I'll be protected parang sa pyramid po. Ay, naku, baka hindi kayo maniwala. Bahala kayo. <laughs> so I protect myself. Yes. Totoo yan, Arnel. Okay. Alright. So again, uh -huh. so vitamin C is very important. Okay, so I gotta go. Okay, so Tita Doc muna ay uh, magpapa mag-aaral. I'm going to eat my second meal. Yes, and um, you watch out if I'm going to have my Zoom, my private Zoom about phototherapy patches. Abangan po niyo yun, join me. Okay, it's very important for you to learn about the phototherapy patches. Alrighty? Okay, gotta go. And uh, maraming salamat po sa lahat na nag-attend. Kung hindi ko po kayo nabate, ayaan yung babasahin ko po ngayon kung sino yung mga nag-attend. I love everybody and um, I'll see you uh, Monday. Okay. Bye.